Dr. Zakir Naik uh, is probably probably the most dangerous man in the world today to Christianity because he brings hundreds of thousands of people to Islam, many of them from Hinduism and also from Christianity. He brings them through just by these kind of videos that we're doing right now. He goes all over the world. He was to come here in uh, Britain last July, and uh, he was going to come. Uh, they were going to bring him down to Wembley Arena, which seats 12,000. They sold out tickets for his meeting in two hours. Now, this man is dangerous. This man is enormously popular. He knows Urdu. He knows Hebrew. He knows Greek. He knows English. He knows Arabic. He, can, he has memorized much of our Bible by heart. He uses no notes. And he tears our Bible to shreds, or he tries to, and he confronts the Christology of Jesus, he confronts the Trinity, he confronts, confronts the uh, whole, what they call the Pauline paradigm. These are amazing questions, they're great questions, they're foundational to everything we believe, and he's enticing and he's engaging hundreds of thousands of Muslims to follow his life. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, O Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, with my Lord and your Lord. This is clear cut. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Bible, Allah says that Jesus said in his word that worship only Allah. There are various many verses in the Quran where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, so do not worship anyone but worship Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When I make a statement challenging the Christian, that there is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or worship me, the counter question is, that is there any statement in the Quran where Jesus Christ peace be upon himself says do not worship me? Yes, there are. And more than once. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72. Allah says, Lakat kafr lazina kalu. And they are doing kufr, they are blaspheming those who say, Inna Allah, who will is Abnu Maryamah. They are blaspheming, they are doing kufr, those who say that Allah is Jesus, the son of Mary. And the verse continues. Waqal al Masih, but said Christ, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, O Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who is my Lord and your Lord. In no my shrik billah, anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakat haram Allah al Jannah, Allah will make Jannah haram for me. And fire shall be his dwelling place, and there will be no helpers for him in the hereafter. Here in this verse of Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72, it's clearly mentioning that they are blaspheming, they are doing kuf, those who say that Allah is Jesus, the son of Mary. But said Christ, but said Jesus, peace be upon him. O children of Israel, O Budullah, worship Allah. Yeah. Jesus himself is saying, Allah is saying in the Quran, but Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, O Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, with my Lord and your Lord. In no me shrik billah, and anyone who associates partners with Allah, faqad haram Allah al jannah. Allah will make jannah haram for him. Wama wa hunnar, wama li zalimin min ansar, and fire shall be dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. This is clear cut. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Bible, Allah says that Jesus said in his word that worship only Allah. It's further mentioned in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 116, 117, that on the day of judgment when Allah will ask Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did you tell them to worship you or your mother instead of me? And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 117, you are my witness, I never said that. But I said, O Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, with my Lord and your Lord. Clearly mentioned. It's further mentioned in Surah Saf, chapter number 60 and verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that I have been sent to you as a messenger from Allah, giving light tidings of a messenger to come, whose name shall be Ahmad. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, sent as a messenger and he also said that there is a messenger to come whose name would be Ahmad. Ahmad is another name from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So there are various many verses in the Quran where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said do not worship anyone but worship Allah and there are various other verses which says, it says Isa Rasulullah that Isa is the messenger of Allah. Many verses. Hope that answers the question. May peace 
mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you.